We're going to start by preheating the oven to 350 degrees. Put 5 ounces of pepperoni and 2 ounces of chorizo sausage in a food processor and pulse until crumbly. Transfer to a bowl. In a large pot, bring 2 inches of water to a boil. Add the clams, cover, and steam over high heat until they open for about 5 minutes. Transfer the clams to a bowl. Pour the broth into a glass measuring cup. Remove the clams from their shell. Stick it in a food processor and coarsely chop the clams and then set it aside. In a large nonstick skillet, cook about one pound of Italian sausage over moderate heat. Cook this for about five minutes and then scrape the sausage into a large bowl. The recipe calls to melt one stick or four ounces of butter into a skillet. Since my boyfriend asked not to cook with butter, I'm going to use olive oil instead. Choose your fancy. Then add half a cup of minced onion, half a cup of minced celery, and half a cup of minced green bell pepper. I use this nifty vegetable chopper I got on Amazon. It's awesome. Comes with all these amazing gadgets uh, that makes chopping, slicing, spiraling so easy, and it's easy to clean. So check it out. I'll leave the link in the description below. Now we are going to cook the veggies over moderately high heat, stirring occasionally until the vegetables are softened and browned for about five minutes. By this time, I noticed I should have used the pan I cooked the clams in, so I made the switch. Now I coarsely chopped the Italian sausage, not really like true Italian sausage, but I mixed it up with the chorizo and pepperoni and then added it to the pan, cooking it until thoroughly heated for about two minutes. The recipe calls to add diced bread. I added two cups of a mix of breadcrumbs and panko breadcrumbs because that's all I had and it's all I could find. Then add the clams and stir in the two cups of reserved clam broth. As you can see, you've got a good mixture going. Now it's time to stuff the clam shells and arrange them on a large baking sheet. Cover them with foil and bake for 30 minutes. When the 30 minutes is up, Uncover and bake for another five minutes or until lightly browned and crispy on top. And there you have it, Dick's Amazing Baked Stuff Clams. The link of the original recipe is in the description below. Make sure to hit the bell to get notified when a new video is posted. Do like and subscribe as it really helps support the channel and I'd love to hear from you. Please share your comments below and let me know what you'd like to see in future videos. Until next time, get together and enjoy.